All right, let's see what's in the in-flight magazine. Muscular old guy, already filled in crossword puzzle. Oh, this is food for different routes I'm not on. All right, time to use the potty. Don't say potty, you're an adult. Okay, nobody move! Oh my God, those guys in first class have guns. Cleveland, just be happy with what you have. Don't envy people. No, Peter, we're being hijacked. Close the cockpit door! This plane now belongs to us. You move, you're dead. So nobody try to get smart. Hmm, page 100. Hmm. This is your last chance. Open the door, or your co-pilot gets it. No! I'm landing at the closest airfield, which is less than an hour away. So just let him go, because you're not getting control of this plane. <coughs> ah, Jimmy! Oh, my God! Why are you doing this? America needs to be punished for supporting the other side of my country's civil war. Which country? Do you really want to know, or are you just asking because we're going to be on the plane for a while and you think you should make small talk? The second thing. Open the door, or I'll start executing passengers. Man, coming on this trip was a terrible idea. I know. Now I wish I just stayed home and finished my remake of Inside Out. What's it gonna be? Are you going to open this door, or am I going to start killing people? I'm not opening it. Excuse me, I'd just like to ask the mom behind me who told me to stop watching Game of Thrones on my laptop if I'm still the worst person on this plane. You, fat guy, get up here! Last chance, open the door, or this idiot gets it! Don't open it, Quagmire! It's not worth it! Okay. Wait, wait, what? That, that was quick. I'm sorry, Peter, but I have to think about the whole plane. There's over 150 passengers back there, several of whom are in our commander's club. And to them, I'd like to issue a special welcome. Oh, man, we gotta help Peter. Those crazy European guys are gonna kill him. You know, I have a gun in the bag I checked. If we can get to the galley, we can take the elevator down to the cargo hold. Good idea, Joe. Oh, man, it feels like we're in one of those hijacking movies. You're right, it does. There's even an impatient businessman who really wants to reach his destination so he can conduct more business. Can't you see how important I am? My shirt is blue, but the collar is white. It's the same shirt. Quick, he's distracted. Get off my plane. Get off my plane. What's that now? Hmm? Nothing. Double trouble. That's it, we found it. What the? Hey, two of the passengers are missing. Okay, you guys watch the main cabin. I'll go find them. I'll take this fat guy as a human shield. Oh, nice. Last guy picked for dodgeball, first guy for human shield. Hey, Joe, look at me. Do I look like Mickey the Mouse? Get out of people's stuff. Ah, oh, here's my bag. Hey, what are you two doing down here? Oh, someone's shipping live lobsters. Yum. Prepare to die. You first! That's what you think. Peter, grab onto something! Uh-oh, I grabbed my own belt. Attention passengers, I know we're being hijacked, but I would be remiss if I didn't point out that we're presently passing over Yosemite National Park. Wow! That is truly awe-inspiring! It certainly is. And you know what you don't see from up here? Borders. Ah! <laughs> Euro trash! Hang on, Peter! Holy crap, that was close! Joe, how'd you know that level would open the landing gear? Wheels are my expertise, Peter. I notice every wheel in a room as soon as I enter. Special delivery from the U.S. of A. Oh, rats. My bullets are in my shaving kit. Get off my pl- Double trouble! Sorry. Come on, man! Oh my god, you guys did it! We're saved! Yep, we wrapped this up quicker than the treaty signing at Appomattox. So if I sign this, the war is over, we surrender, and we still get to be d forever? <laughs> okay, you win. You can all relax now, everybody. We're ten minutes away from landing at an airfield in Nevada. Uh, looks like you'll make that business meeting after all. Great. Thanks for keeping us in the sky, boys. Now reach for it. 
You're one of the hijackers, too? Yes. I was in reserve in case the plan went awry. And now I can finally get into the cockpit and execute our plan. Crashing this plane into the ultimate symbol of American materialism, Las Vegas. You know, I've lost a ton in Vegas, but I never thought I'd lose my life there. Did you just think of that? Yeah, just now. You know, you are seriously funny, man. I know I crap on you a lot, but sometimes when I'm driving, I think about stuff you say and I laugh. Thank you, Peter. No, thank you. Very good. We are less than 20 minutes from Las Vegas. Get ready to say goodbye to your precious Rita Rudner. Is, is your plan just to kill Rita Rudner? No, we're going to crash into the biggest hotel on the Strip. Killing Rita Rudner will just be the custard on the dumpling. You know, we never quite nailed down what region you guys are from. Oh, look, there's one guy who slept through this whole thing. Hey, buddy, wake up. We're all about to die. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, I thought I should wake you up. Nobody wants to die in their sleep. Oh, my God! No! I have a family! There you go. So, uh, you ever been to Vegas before? No. Well, I think you're gonna flip for it! Attention, passengers, the plane... Oh, come on! Doesn't anybody pay attention to the sign? That was some quick thinking, Glenn. And look! Even that plane with all the missiles is impressed! Missiles? That's a military fighter jet! He's here to shoot us down! Or she... What? They must think the hijackers still control the plane! And our communications are jammed, so we can't even tell him everything's okay! Don't worry, I'll signal to him. Hey! We knocked out all the bad guys! See? We don't need your help! We kicked their ass and we have their guns! I've got a visual on the terrorists. They've got a hostage in a blue shirt with a white collar. He must be an important businessman. Copy that. Prepare to engage. Oh, good. He's moving away. No, he isn't. He's getting in position to fire. <laughs> <laughs>